Hello everyone and welcome back Nergenic Nation. I'm your anime expert Ash and in this video I will be sharing you all of my do's and don'ts of anime conventions as a part of my anime con series. So without further ado, let's go right into the video. Do number one is do pre-register. Pre-registering is something I really recommend everyone does, especially at bigger conventions. Usually the price of a con badge is significantly less expensive, you don't have to wait in several long lines, and depending on your tier, you get early priority access to certain events like panels. And number two is don't over plan your convention. I know anime conventions are filled with so many cool things like meet and greets, panels, events, contests, etc, etc, etc. But convention spaces are big, lines can get long, and things can happen. You'll want to allow yourself to shop, eat, and hang out with friends. And honestly, relax too, because conventions are tiring. So don't forget to take breaks, eat, and stay hydrated. Number three is do dress up and or cosplay. I really encourage everyone to dress up for conventions. Even if it's just an inspired makeup look, hat, or even just a t-shirt, dressing up for the type of convention you're going to will help you get into the con atmosphere. And even be a great conversation starter too. Everyone is there for the same nerdy reason as you are, so nobody's gonna make fun of you and nobody's gonna think that you're lame. And number four is don't harass cosplayers. This might sound like a common sense kind of thing, but everyone in a costume is a person with feelings. So when interacting with them, ask before you do anything. Don't touch them without permission. Don't flirt or catcall them without consent. Don't touch their props without permission. Don't take pictures of them or with them without their permission. And don't quiz them on the show character game that they're cosplaying on. And for the love of all things anime, don't walk up to them and start calling them pet names, all right? I see people do it all the time and it's really annoying and really cringy, so please, don't walk up to somebody and call them your waifu, all right? That's, they didn't ask to be that and they didn't ask for that kind of interaction, all right? Cosplay is not consent. Moving on. Number five, do sample the local cuisine. Conventions are usually held in big cities and since you have a whole weekend to wander around after con hours or in between panels, trying out local restaurants can be a great way to enjoy your trip. Sometimes certain places will have certain specials catering towards convention goers. Depending on the size of the convention, there might also be maid cafes, bars, food courts, and even food trucks. Please check out the food trucks. I highly recommend you do it. Please do. Number six is don't go over your budget. It's important to stay within your spending budget because you don't want to be unprepared if you run out of gas, if your flight gets delayed, and you have no money for dinner or Starbucks, and you're just gonna be miserable. So be sure to budget accordingly, okay? Okay. Number seven, do talk to people at panels. So panels are rooms with a table and speakers who hold conferences and or presentations about a certain topic. Any topic, really. And so that means everybody attending the panel is interested in the exact same thing as you. So don't be afraid to chat with the person next to you, as you could potentially make a lifelong friend. Number eight, don't linger too long at vendor booths. I know you're probably a huge fan of this artist, creator, whoever it is, but remember that they're there to make money and this is their livelihood. So don't keep the line and conversation for more than a few minutes, especially if you're not buying anything because you could be holding up the line or keeping them from working on a commission or something like that. Number nine is do take care of yourself. Remember to shower, wear your deodorant, brush your teeth every day. You also don't wanna catch con crud, so remember to sanitize and wash your hands often. Remember to at least eat two meals a day and stay hydrated so you don't pass out. There's an unspoken convention rule about taking care of yourself called the 621 rule. At least six hours of sleep, two meals a day, and one shower per day of the convention. And last but definitely not least, number 10, don't bring politics to a convention. Everyone is there to have fun and to meet others who have similar interests, but that doesn't mean that everybody has the same views. So try not to start arguments about politics because for most con-goers, conventions are a way to escape hardships of the real world. So please 
leave the politics at the door, and have fun at the convention. And yeah, that was my 10 do's and don'ts of going to anime conventions. So if you like this video, please be sure to give a thumbs up, comment below what you'd like to see next, and hit that red subscribe button to join the Nergenic Nation today. And if you want to keep up with this anime convention series, be sure to click right here and watch my other anime related videos. Or if you're tired of seeing my face, Russ and Aaron got you covered with all sorts of cool things right here. That's all for this video. Anime expert Ash, out.